David De Gea is now a free agent. And what does that mean, guys? He's a free agent, Manchester United. He's no longer under contract of Manchester United, but he was given the contract. But what does it mean? Is David De Gea gone? Is Manchester United going to offer him a new contract? That's what I'm here to tell you guys. For those who have just joined this show, this video, make sure you subscribe to Red United TV. Smash that like button as well before we go, as well before we get into it. We've got so much news. News from Twitter. News from one football at, of course, and of course, the Daily Star article. And of course, guys, my opinion, guys, make sure you subscribe to Red United TV as well on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter as well, and also follow us on Twitch. Let's get straight into this video because, boy, oh boy, oh boy, you know what my opinion on David De Gea, guys, but it's not about my opinion. I'm about to share everyone else's um everyone else's news stories and articles, but then again, it's also about your opinion, guys. Because I will tell you my opinion, but you guys got to tell me yours opinion. But David De Gea released. Wow, 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 wow. He's on a free. He's a free agent. But as I said early on, what does this mean? Because there's a possibility of Manchester United being able to re-sign David De Gea because, of course, reportedly Manchester United only got a hundred and twenty million pound transfer budget, and of course. With the signing of Mason Mount, that's been halved. So Manchester United might be desperately calling back to say, hold on to here. Hold on. I know your contract is expired. And I know we, we we took away that contract that we offered you. But please, will you consider coming back? Just like the way Manchester United re-signed Zlatan Ibrahimovic as well, released him, then re-signed him. Could David De Gea himself be the same situation? We're going to dive straight in and let's see what Twitter's saying, guys. There you have it there. Of course, Red Central... Um, MUFC MPB, make sure you follow them as well. They have retweeted Red, Red Central's Twitter as well as breaking news. David De Gea contract has officially expired. MUFC as well, MPB, follow them as well. They're saying that David De Gea has the chance to move to Saudi Arabia, but intermediaries are also now working on opportunities within Europe. Again, again, they keep on saying here, and I'm reacting just as the way you guys are reacting. Manchester United are in a hurry to sign Andre Onana, and a bid is expected in a few hours. The club wants him in by Tuesday. Eric Tanog and da um, David Harrison has decided they want Onana to replace David De Gea. But again, there are news coming out, circulating that Manchester United might be interested in re-signing him, guys. And of course, as you can see there, David De Gea is trending trending worldwide as well like people are upset you're lying to yourself if you don't consider david here a club legend i want to know what you guys are thinking as well united exclusive and me of your hurry to sign uh, andre onana and the bid is expected in the next few hours the club want to, wants him in by tuesday like i said earlier on a lot of fans opinion on it but it's a bit shocking to me i've never expected Manchester united to release david De Gea like that in this fashion but hey, my opinion, of course, you guys know that I've always thought match it's time for Manchester United to sign a new goalkeeper or, or David De Gea to be sold for or him deciding to be the number two. And I think he's to, to, to himself he's decided not to be number two. I'm gonna share this article with you guys. David De Gea becomes a free agent after 12 years at Manchester United. An article from Stretty News. Make sure you guys follow Stretty News all across social media platforms. But yes. As they say, as you see here, that um, Manchester United and uh, what happens next, we'll see what happens next. Because, um, reading this article, guys, you can see that David De Gea is officially a free agent and being released from Manchester United. But will it stay that way? The Spaniards' 12 years stay at Old Trafford could well be over, and regardless of his performance across. The more recent season, he has been one of the most loyal servants to the club and the most of our supporters have seen. With him gone, there are now no players remaining that played under Sir Alex Ferguson and that's featured in the 2013 title winning squad. Ooh. Currently, United have scheduled a face-to-face -face talk over his future in Manchester as per Neil Curtis of the Sun. This won't happen until next week and at the earliest as David De Gea is getting married in to his long-term partner over the weekend. He's getting married, you know. And imagine being married and you're finding out that you, you're no longer under contract for Manchester United. You must be thinking, raw, like, after all these years of loyalty, you know, I could have left. But the facts may seem fucked shit up for me. 
But I decided to stay and become your player of the year numerous times. This is how you treat me, huh? This is how you treat me? Fuck you guys. That's what you probably be saying right now. I'm going to get married. Just like, what's it called? Cartman's going to be saying, screw you guys. I'm going home to Manchester United as well. And to be fair, you can go home. Because I, I've always said that David his time has come up. I'm seeing him, you know, regress. And I hate seeing a top player lose his self, lose his prime. And I don't want to see him get, get further embarrassments and just get worse in front of my eyes because I'm already seeing David De Gea regress. Again, article coming from the Daily Star as they talk about David De Gea and potentially might be renewing his contract. It says here that David De Gea is released by Man United and staggering up to not join another club. Manchester United have asked David De Gea do not join another club. We don't want you to join another club yet. And I was, as I was saying earlier on, um, regarding this, the, the transfer budget, despite the takeover not being done, they're still hinging on the original transfer budget, which which this should be business as normal until the takeover is done. And then hopefully the takeover can release some more cash. That's if it is shit scene. If it's um, the other guy, Mr. Rat, we'll see how it goes in the transfer window. But as you can see, the 30-year-old's contract, the 32-year-old goalkeeper saw his contract at Old Traffic expired on Friday, which was yesterday, meaning that he's now technically become a free agent. But United are still hoping he doesn't find a new club. Also says that despite previously agreeing a wage reduction of 375 k to 200000 a week, the proposed term was taken off the table by Eric Ten Hag, leaving David De Gea in the dark over his future, you know. And he's just about to get married. He wants to know what's going on with his future, you know. My babes, me and my babes, are we going to stay in Manchester or do we have to relocate? David De Gea is probably thinking, nah, man, I can't be treated like this. Fans, some fans, some David De Gea sexuals are probably saying to themselves, so, the man United, this is a disgrace. How we treat our play like that? But hey, it's life, you know. Life isn't fair. Sometimes life throws you lemons. Sometimes you got to turn that lemon into a lemonade. You get what I'm saying? But yes, Ten Hag has been handed a 120 million transfer budget before sales. But that has now halved after 60 million fee was agreed with Chelsea for Mason Mount. Which meaning that, according to the Sun, those budget restrictions are the reason that United are asking David here to not join another club. In the case of Ten Hag ops to bring him back to the club if a number one can't be signed within their budget and of course that is Andre Onana. Andre Onana has been targeted by Manchester United and will he himself sign for Manchester United and will we agree a decent fee? I'm hoping we can do a clown on Andre Onana and still have at least 60 million left like 10 million this year uh, you know 10 million the next year uh, 20 million after this you win the ballon d'Or, we give you another five million something ridiculous like that but only a fool will agree a deal like that you know but i'm um, guys my opinion personally regarding david the hill um and this situation of course he should have been given clarity over his future you know it's not nice and it's never been nice for you to be dumped like this especially for the fact that you have been loyal to the club at you know for a good amount of years you've been mentioned at best goalkeeper at times you know to me it's also a sentimental thing because i love david de Gea, but i'd also believe it's time for him to go guys you know that fa cup final pissed me off the game against seville i, I still get flashbacks over it you know i'm like oh i can still feel it right now you know david De making mistakes you know um what's it called end the series scoring that goal long shot from gun to gun and bounces off the grass goes in you know, oh my God, like flashbacks are hurting, you know. David, he has been costing us mistakes since he first joined, you know, costing us the team. So, yeah, it's about time he moves on. We need a player that can play from the back, you know. David, he being Spanish, it's just hard to believe that he, he struggles to play out from the back. And it's the reason why he doesn't even get into the national team of Spain. But guys, let me know what your thoughts on David, De Gea. are you angry? You're like, you shouldn't treat him like this. He's one of our legends. He's one, of, he's one of our legends. You can't treat him like this. It's a disgrace. It's a bloody disgrace. You can't do this to David De Gea. Yeah, if you're feeling like that, let me know. But if you're feeling like me right now, say, you know what? Ivor and Spice, it's time to go, you know. We got to be ruthless, you know, because Manchester United need to be ruthless now, you know. Because we was going through the attitude era where players are telling us that, no, I don't want to leave, you know. Like, we're trying to sell you, Phil Jones. 
show to to to, to well, whoever West Ham and all that kind of stuff. He's like, no, I like him. My Harry Maguire has ten, hence his ten million for you to leave the club. No, I like him here. How dare you? The attitude of Paul Pogba, attitude of Jesse Lingard, Ronaldo, all that kind of stuff. We need to move from the attitude era and straight to the ruthless aggression of John Cena's era, where we are telling you it's time to go. Rest in peace, Claude. But it is what it is, guys. Guys, you let me know what your thoughts on today's news regarding David De Gea being a free agent. And as always, guys, remember, guys, to follow Red United TV on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel as well. And follow Red United TV on Instagram, Red United TV 1. And follow me on Twitter as well. And follow us on Twitch. It is what it is. As always, guys, remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it Red United. Your boy is out. Peace.